Thanks guys. All right, Mabu High Squad. Our work is done for the day. And now I am taking you to somewhere special. Mm -hmm. You guys will love where we are heading next. Let's go. Another adventure. Yeah! Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Guys, <laughs> look at RJ. What? You're vlogging me? So random. Getting a face mask here in while we're in traffic. Because I, I, I have a board meeting. Yeah, guys, so here's the deal. RJ has a meeting in Manila um, for this group that he's part of. And you know where he's dropping me off? Can you guess? All right, I'm going. Bye, bae. Ooh. See ya, honey. Yay, Cardamar! Guys, ever since coming to the Philippines, this place has been my favorite place in the entire world. I could stay here the whole day. I'm kind of glad I'm like alone because then I can just spend as much time as I want anywhere I want. When RJ's following along, I know he's bored, so I end up feeling bad. And so I end up rushing. Okay guys, so my goal here today is to... Hello! Is to... Um, hi! We got my Buhai squad, hi! Safe riding! My goal is to um, do some research. As you guys know, I've been trying to find uh, and decide what birds I am going to put in our aviary of our home. So, my goal today is to check out the bird stores, see what birds are available, do some research, ask if like they offer papers, possibly get some contacts for breeders, um, and just like open my mind, ask questions, and check out the birds, let's go! Okay, here's one of the bird stores. There are so many everywhere. Let's see these birds. Okay, mostly African lovebirds. See? We got finches. Ooh, look how beautiful these finches are. Hi guys! So cute. They're tiny, guys. Cockatiels. So cute. Oh, these finches are so cute. Are you guys afraid of people? See guys, they're kind of scared. And I know they can learn to trust humans, but like in my aviary, they would never come close. <laughs> See, they sell nesting boxes for when the birds are um, in season, like breeding season. See, different sizes. More birds up there, budgerigars, bunnies. Oh guys, here, look. Oh my gosh, okay, so see these little doves? These are diamond doves. I want to put them in our aviary too. Are they full grown? Oh my gosh, they are full grown. They're so small. Look at how tiny they are. They're like almost the size of these like finches. Oh, I'd love to have you guys in our aviary. Are you diamond doves afraid of people? More birds. Look at these finches. This finch is sleeping. Beautiful finches, see that? I wonder if there are Goldian finches. Let's go inside. Okay, lots of budgies, African lovebirds. Hi guys, you guys are so cute. Look at the color on these African lovebirds, wow. Okay, yeah, this is just all African lovebirds, cockatiels. They sell cages. Remember the big cage we bought for Ligaya? Back when we had Ligaya, it was like this big, kind of. We're gonna have to buy another one of these cages once the birds start coming in because at first they'll need to be housed in a cage while they're getting accustomed to me and while we, you know, acclimate. And we'll need the cage in case we introduce birds like gradually because the bird, all birds going into the aviary must undergo a six week uh, quarantine period to make sure they're not sick because you could introduce pathogens and illness to your aviary and you don't want that. More budgies, budgies everywhere. Look at how many. This lady is buying a whole bunch, wow. Guys, there is an abundance of African lovebirds and budgies and cockatiels. But I don't see other birds. Wait, there's another, there's another bird store here. They even sell bird mixes. See, let's go inside here. Is that an Indian ring neck? Or what is this? Oh, how cute. Lutino. Hi there. Hi. You're so cute. Hi there. Oh, oh my gosh. This bird's adorable. See these like 
small to medium birds in the aviary would have a blast. Kuya, what kind of bird is that? It is an Indian ringneck, guys. What's the name of the kulai? Lutino? Yeah, see? I know my birds. This is a Lutino color um, Indian ringneck. Hi there. Are you friendly? Are you friendly? No, with birds, you should never do that. <laughs> never stick your hand out like that. Oh, you are gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, hi. I didn't include Indian ringneck in my wish list for birds for the aviary. I don't know why. I probably should have <laughs> because they're so cute. Are you going to come to me? You going to step up? Mm, okay. With birds, you have to read their body language closely because you can be totally bitten really quickly. So, yes. Hi there. You want to come? You want to come fly to me? Come. I wonder if this bird is clipped. Oh no, it's clipped. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. They clipped your wings. Oh, poor bird. More finches. See? They do sell a lot of finches, but it's like, I think it's like mostly zebra finches and society finches. I don't see any Goldian finches, which are my favorite. See guys, these are society finches. They make great aviary birds. Um, and I asked the man, apparently they do come with papers. So that's good. Look at, look at them, they're so cute. Yes, hi guys. Are you guys, oh, totally afraid of people. Okay, 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 sorry. See, I would love these really tiny diminutive birds in the aviary, but they are really scared of humans. Like they would never, I, I don't think they would come to me. We would need to hand raise them from chickhood. Oh, here they are guys, Goldian Finch. <gasps> Aren't they beautiful? Look at them guys, this is my favorite kind of finch. They're so cute, hi guys. It's okay. I do think that with patience, these birds can learn that humans are okay. I would love for them to land on my hand. Look at them. They are great. Now, the majority of the birds have black heads. And then next, red heads. And then the rarest are like the yellow heads, from my understanding. But aren't they just beautiful birds to look at? Look. Oh, guys, look, canaries. Awesome. So if I decide to stock the aviary with goldian finches i can actually have one canary and they and i would want one that sings well they so with canaries they have different colors right but they also have varieties that are just bred for their song for their singing ability so i wonder if any of these are singing canaries wow i really like the orangish peach one they're so beautiful <gasps> now canaries are they don't really flock, they're solitary birds, but they come together to mate, like during breeding season. Um, and that's why even in my huge aviary, I probably just want one. I could have a male and a female, but with the female present, it will cause the male to not sing. So, I would love to hear the song every morning of a male canary. So I don't think I would have a female, plus I wouldn't want them to breed in the aviary. But canaries are underrated, guys. They're so cool. Hi, guys. Hi there. More Goldian finches. Hi there. Wow, look at the red on that head. So beautiful. Wow. So here at the pet market, there are tons of fish. Fish stores, tons. Selling both fresh and salt water. Look at this arowana. Wow, gorgeous. Look at these cute pet carriers. They're so cute. I guess you roll it, like a suitcase. More lovebirds. Hi guys. Man, there are so many. More society finches. More budgerigars. Hi guys. Budgies are underrated. Like when kept in the right conditions and like well taken care of, they make very fulfilling bird pets. And they're smart. Hi guys. So here in Cardamar, you can have tanks made. I've had several tanks made at this place. Uh, for my ant setups and stuff, you can literally customize the size and shape and dimensions of the tank that you want. It's really great. They even sell stands for them. Oh my gosh, guys, guinea fowl. I want guinea fowl. Hi, guys. 
These are anti-snakes, guys. As soon as they see snakes or strangers, they will make the loudest noise. They make good watch birds. Oh my gosh, you guys are my dream bird. Oops, hi there. They look funny up close. You guys are cool. We got pigeons, white doves or pigeons. More pigeons. Oh, a white variety of guinea fowl. How neat. Funny chickens. You guys are so funny. Hi there. Silky chicken. These are silkies, guys. Silky chicken. You guys are so fun. I can't even see your eyes. You remind me of my poodle Rizal. More birds. All right, at least these birds get sunlight. See? Look at their the plumage of birds that are kept outside. Birds that get natural sunlight just are brighter, you know, in plumage. They're all around healthier and happier. See that? Oh, are these quails? Yes. So I also am planning on getting quails. What happened to their backs? Is it supposed to be like that? Or are they, oh, are these babies? Anyways, I also plan on getting quails for the aviary, depending on the mix of birds. Quails generally stay on the ground and they like clean up after any bird mess, parrots, seeds that are dropped on the ground, food, etc. OMG guys, look at this um, cockatiel chick. It's so cute. Hi there. You're so cute. Oh. Guys, look at this white king snake. RJ loves this snake. Last time we were here, he was like, it's beautiful, but it's so expensive, guys. Man, this caiman is getting big. Last time I was here, it was a bit smaller. Wow. Guys, there's Senpai. Remember Senpai, the last time we were here? He is a um, red tegu. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Stick in his head. Oh, and he's going back underneath. All right. Bye, Senpai. Bye. This albino iguana is greeting us with a head nod. Hi. He stopped now. I think he's camera shy. Gosh, I want an iguana too. I wonder if we were to get small birds for the aviary and then a massive dragon of an iguana. I wonder if that would work. Ah, Savannah monitor. The one and only monitor species I've ever owned um, as a kid. They get really big. Well, not actually, they're small for a monitor species, but I mean, they get bigger than this and fat. And then they get big enough to eat like small rats, mice, obligate carnivores from Africa. They're honestly literal dinosaurs, guys. Look at them. That's a dinosaur. Okay, so here's the plant nursery section of Cardamar. Also one of my favorites. Um, and I'm looking at plants, possible plants for the aviary, some ideas. I really want to look for... Today I want to look for plants that are either hanging, can be epiphytes, meaning attached to like wood or rock cladding, and trees that can grow in pots like this. See, look, look at this, look at this palm tree here. See, look at this one. It can actually grow in a tiny pot like that. See, I need to, I need to look. Let's see. Guys, we have our friend here. Anong pangalan mo? Uh, Pau. Hi, Pau. All right, because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Thank All right, you, thank you. Bye. Lots of friends here at Cardamar. Animal, plant lovers, they're all here. Okay, so one of my ideas, possible, possible ideas for the aviary. Hi, Tita. They know us here. We're always here. Is to have one of these. It's, I believe it's called foxtail palm in the middle of the aviary. Like, this can grow pretty tall, but let's see. What's it growing out of? Is it growing in a pot? Oh, it's growing out of a pot, like a bag. Oh, how interesting. And look at how tall it is, just growing out of a bag. That is good to know. See, we got several trees here. Wow, there's like, look at this tree, guys. Look at that tree. Whoa, this would be beautiful in the aviary. But wait, is that growing out of a bag too? It looks like it is growing out of a bag. Uh, is it? Or is that growing out of the ground? It would be awesome to have a tree like this in the aviary, right? And then the parrots, I would have to research to see if this is a parrot safe tree because um, not all plants are parrot safe. Some are actually toxic. So there is an, there's this list online of like parrot safe wood, parrot safe um, plants and fruits and stuff. I have to check up on this, but I wonder if that will grow in a pot. Sweet. Here is like bamboo. Bamboo is like weeds. It pretty much grows anywhere. I could put bamboo in the aviary as well 
Hmm. Is this growing in a pot? No. So, so, eh. Yeah, pero growing na sa pot. It's actually growing in the ground. Oh. It was originally in a bag, but then the le the roots went down. Oh, that would have been awesome. This would have solved all my problems if it was growing in a pot already. Isn't that a beautiful tree? Oh, it looks gorgeous. I love how like you see the um, shoots. The ends of the branches have red leaves and like the mature leaves are green. I like that. It's like Christmas every day. Um, okay, so well, see, we've got other trees. So I bet this huge foxtail palm is also growing in the ground. Okay, so you, you see these plants? Very familiar house plants, very popular house plants. I don't want to incorporate them in our house nor in our aviary because they're actually toxic guys. Not very many people know it. It's called Diefenbachia. And although I have seen them placed in aviaries with birds, like at a foundation that we went to, a, a, sanctuary, a bird sanctuary we've been to in the past, the people at the bird sanctuary say the birds don't bother it. But we have dogs and our dogs chew on everything. So just want to keep clear of Diefenbachia. This, however, is you know how i always talk about bird's nest fern this here can be an epiphyte so you can actually plant it onto a rock wall um, onto driftwood it's a, a really great plant but it can't be put in direct sunlight it kind of needs like partial shade see like this this here is a very popular ornamental tree called plumeria um, i think here in the philippines they call it kulachichi or kulachicho Kulchacha or something like that. Um, it grows into a big tree, beautiful leaves and beautiful flowers, which, you know, the Hawaiians, the female Hawaiian girls put on the sides of their ear, on the back of their ear. It's a really gorgeous flower. Sadly, this plant is toxic to birds. Boo. I love the way Plumeria looks. It's so nice. I wish we could even grow it on our property. Okay, guys, now, now we're talking. See this? This here. These are bromeliads. These plants don't need soil. They can just be planted against wood and on the rock cladding. Aren't they gorgeous? See that? They have a center like pit that needs to be full of water. And look, this one's blooming. Again, it doesn't need soil. It'll literally send out these like root things that attach to the rock. I'm planning on having a lot of these as well. Bromeliads are awesome. Bromeliad, by the way, is like the pineapple family. That's why it kind of looks like a pineapple. These are bromeliads too. Gosh, guys, I can't get over this tree. This lady says it's red banaba. And the flowers are violet. Wow. Man, this would have been perfect. If only it was growing in a pot. Guys, I miss having fish. RJ and I were talking the other day and we miss, we, RJ misses having angel fish. Ooh, this is a nice paludarium. Look at that. It's got a betta fighting fish inside and like a really mossy rocky top and there's a bromeliad just growing right there see soil free attached to the rock there's another one right there what a gorgeous aquascape see isn't that nice it looks like trees this is hard to maintain <laughs> it requires like dosing of like fertilizers and stuff obviously really good filtration system um, aquascaping was my pandemic hobby that I took up because my main fish tank in our if you guys recall in our living room in the condo it started to break out an algae and then i looked up on youtube how to like solve an algae problem in a tank and then i was introduced to this whole new world of aquascaping and like adding plants and stuff it just took over my pandemic it was a happy distraction but guys a, a tank like this is pretty high maintenance now though i don't buy a lot of livestock at this pet market because I mean, to be honest, don't want to really support um, those vendors that are not keeping the animals in good conditions. There are some vendors here who do keep the animals in proper conditions, but a lot that don't. So don't usually buy livestock or pets or animals here at the pet market. Sometimes fish, if ever fish. But they do have awesome, awesome supplies. Like look, Reptivite you could buy here calcium vitamins for your reptiles lighting see all of that you could buy here they even have look for birds like heaters for birds and reptiles see it's awesome you've got plant decor bowls so for the aviary i want to buy one of these like natural looking bowls i just think they look much cooler 
I also come here sometimes to buy driftwood because look at how beautiful the driftwood is. See that? Look at that. Look at this piece. Gorgeous. Wow. I might even buy big pieces of driftwood here for the aviary. Hi, doggy. Hi. This is a cute poodle. You're like a mini version of my Rizal. Ryan! <laughs> Hi Ryan, guys, Ryan Jet. Wow! Look at this. This is gonna be a paludarium, Diva. Right? Waterfall. This is our friend Ryan Jet. He is the master like terrascaper. Look at this. Whoa, awesome. Really beautiful paludariums. Ah, alright, back in the van. Gonna go meet RJ now. I think his meeting is complete. I I'm definitely not gonna get animals here, like I said. Um, unless I decide to get some of the birds that I saw that were available with papers. Um, but generally, I think for the birds of our aviary, I will stick with reputable breeders that I know here in the Philippines um, to source the birds for my aviary. But I always love coming back here. I love looking at what's new and new supplies, new places, new animals. It's always fun. All right, guys, it's nighttime. Here's RJ. Hi, RJ. I had so much fun at Cardamar. <laughs> and guys, you won't believe where we are going right now. Mm -hmm. Mabuhay Squad. The place we're going to now is not back home to Tagaytay. It's to 